building. Mr. Speaker, the Endangered Species Act was a well-intentioned effort to protect the species we're at risk of losing. Unfortunately, the ESA has been hijacked by extreme environmentalists who have weaponized the law, especially in California. Central Valley families and farmers have seen the negative impacts of heavy-handed and misguided regulations that put fish ahead of our families and our farms. During dry years, the very limited amount of water available is consistently flushed out to the ocean to protect the delta smelt and other endangered species. While this precious resource was going out to the Pacific, thousands of acres of farmland were fallowed. This has a devastating consequence for the people I represent and the livelihoods that depend on agriculture. This is something that it's important for us to address and talk a little bit about because when the water goes out to the ocean, obviously we're not taking any of that surface water and it has an impact on our below ground water, um, our aquifers. And these past few years, we've had a huge number of wells fail. And so in agriculture, mm -hmm. you drive around the countryside, and I, I know a lot of people at home probably see this, where you'll see wells pulled out of the ground, the pipe stacked there, they clean them. Yesterday, I was, or two days ago, I was driving around the valley, and there was a situation where there was a pile of sand around this well, and obviously that well has failed. But what was really devastating was I had uh, communities all across the valley, and uh, just working with one nonprofit, there were uh, at least 2,000 either homes or communities where they had actual tanks put in because the wells had failed and there was going to be no clean water for these people at home. And so they put in tanks and pumps and they were trucking water to these people so they can have water in their faucets. And this was happening all across the valley. And so when we talk about the devastating impact it has on our communities, this was something that was at their faucets. And it it was really frustrating these past few years when you talk to folks and they say, well, we can build uh, projects, but we can't build water infrastructure projects. We've had projects that they've been working on for the last 30 years, mm. and it was simple expansion of an existing well or an existing uh, reservoir. We've got a reservoir like Sites Reservoir they've been talking about for six decades, and we still have never been able to break ground on that. But when out talking to folks around the district, farm workers specifically in some of these communities that struggle the most with some of these wells, the conversation they brought up was they can build, expedite the permitting process for a project like a high-speed rail, um, and you see the project being built, but they can't do anything for water infrastructure. And it's frustrating because a lot of these folks rely on agriculture to make ends meet, and they go out and they see fields being fallowed, they see the land pulled out of production, and it's less work for them, the less ability for them to provide for their families. And it's something that should be an easy one, and it's regulations like ESA that put us at such a disadvantage. And so, Back to my script, to add insult to injury, many of the actions taken to protect these fish have not been effective. The population of many of our listed species, including the delta smelt, are now worse off than they were before. And then you look at the situation we find ourselves in today. Whole communities are on the verge of being underwater because of environmental regulations have prevented these same reservoirs that we desperately need from being built who would actually prevent and help us with some of the flooding that we're dealing with. Now we have more than enough water to provide our farms, communities, and homes with water for years to come and nowhere to store it. Indefinite list listing of species allows activists to abuse the ESA, preventing the construction of critical water storage projects and resulting in millions of acre feet of water being flushed out to the Pacific Ocean. The needs of the Central Valley are consistently put last thanks to the abuse of environmental regulations like the ESA. We must work together to reform the Endangered Species Act to strike a more reasonable balance between protecting our environment and common sense.